What is going on guys, your boy Guns here, and it's been a whole year of playing Call of Dragons. And man, has it been a freaking roller coaster. Um, so we're going to go through, we're going to go over a few things today. We're going to go over how much I've spent, my biggest mistakes that I've made on my account, um, the future of my account in terms of like if I'm going to continue being a main mage or go a little bit of archer, a little bit of tank, I don't know. My overall satisfaction with the game and and then touch into a little bit of account uh, optimization. So that's kind of what we're going to go over today. Um, just more or less like a 2023 um, like summary. You know what I'm saying? Which I think it's very good to share here. So we're going to go over some magical memories here. So the memory montage 2023. All right. So I'm obviously I'm League of Order faction. Bringing hope to the realm. Yikes. Sometimes I switch to Spring Warden, which I've done on three occasions. And I just run around with flying chickens and kill everything. Uh, I've spent uh, 2,680 hours online. An average of 450 minutes per day. How many hours is that? Let's ask, let's ask our girl Siri. Hey Siri. How many hours is 459 minutes? 7.6 hours a day. On April 16 of 2023, I spent 23.65 hours online. Yikes. That, my friends, is a long time online. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, through the painstaking efforts you have gathered. Okay, I haven't gathered too much, okay? Don't, don't troll me. I, I've gathered more than other spenders. But my fortune reached a total of 7 million yams. Oh my god. It's a lot of gems, guys. That is a lot of gems. I remember when I was pushing T5, guys, I and I kid you not, when I was pushing T5, I remember at one point the top counter of my gems said 1.4 million gems. Yeah. 1.4 million gems. Crazy, right? Anyways, so Infernal Flame was my most used artifact. Using the Mirage Orb, I dealt a record high of 121k damage in a single blow. <laughs> uh, my most deployed hero was Lilia, of course, man. Lilia is de by far the MVP of my 2023 year. Um, Valen is definitely up there. Uh, they, uh, you know what I mean? So, let's see. Moving on here. <sighs> you banished four Dark Forces, so I have... Killed them 14,483 times. I fought the Magma Devourer one time and brought it to heal. That's kind of weird. I've definitely fought way more Magmas than one. Sapphire Phaedrake was your most, most captured pet. So one of the things to like to like look here, right? I mean, okay, we, we saw the Infernal Flame. We saw the, we saw the Sapphire Phaedrake here. And then moving here, right? So my magic units made most of my legions, right? And purposely, guys, we're going to jump a little bit forward into the topic of account optimization. And one of the things that, that I always recommend is make sure that you have a main role, right? For example, for me, I'm a main mage. Like, majority of my account is optimized around having the best magic pairs and having the most units. Like, most of my troop training went to magic units. Most of my artifact... Um, spending went into mage artifacts infernal flame or i went into i got even got the breath of gargantus once okay so i fought 116,000 battles and claimed 630 million victories god that's a lot <laughs> On 10 18, 2023, I emerged victorious from a fierce battle and gained 3.1 million meretitos. Oh my god, that's a lot of merits. That's a lot of merits. Uh, I joined the Rios International Alliance. This is season one. I was part of Rios, spending the Odyssey days with them. I don't understand that. That was kind of weird. Someone's attacking me, whatever. You formed a firm bond with Hokies Nug, messaging them frequently. That's not accurate. Um, you fought shoulder to shoulder with Toxic through countless battles. Hey, okay. Shout out to Toxic. Guy goes ham. Someone just died. <laughs> we'll, we'll look at the report here in a second. Um, so we have the unmatched warrior, Sky Tyrant. Let's go with Sky Tyrant. That one sounds cool. 
cooler. So here's my annual, annual 2023-24 was incredible memories. Thank you for your long-standing support. A bright future awaits in Call of Dragons. Let's go. This year's key word, Sky Tyrant. So you can see uh, in terms of like it looks like a heat map here. Looks like a heat map here. I'm kind of like well-balanced. Well-balanced player, you know. I guess that's what this means. Data collected up to 3-11-2024 UTC. Sheesh. I guess I shouldn't say just 2023, right? It's partly 2024. Okay, let's go look at the report. Someone swarmed me. Oh, God. Alibaba swarmed me and a few others. Rip. Rip my Kanara Craig, man. Rip my Kanara Craig. Um... So ah screw it. While these people are out here freaking full sending on us, let's just let's just let's just add a little bit of gameplay to the video, guys. Why not? Why not? You know? Okay, so our next topic, our next topic that we're going into. Um Oh shit. I'm dead. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We need to switch our, our city. The next topic that we're going to talk about is how much money have I spent, right? Because I know a lot of people are probably wondering that, like, how much money has he spent? So right now, my historical highest, guys, is 91 million power is my historical highest. Um, however, I have a lot of speed ups. If I were to use all my speed ups, I'd probably be like a, anywhere from 110 minimum to 115 million power, roughly. Um, yeah, so I'll show you guys a screenshot here. Let me show you guys here. So if you guys, if apparently it's only on mobile, apparently it's only on mobile. But if you go on your mobile, so shout out to my Twitch chat. Yo, Spike, what's up, bro? Shout out to, hey, three streams in a row, Spike? Let's go. That's that's some commitment, bro. That's some commitment. I appreciate that. So, um, if you go into your mobile app and then click on membership, I think it's account and then membership, you can see your total login days. Um, and apparently you take one zero off of this point system here and it gives you like your total amount. So I've spent a total of twenty seven thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> you know what? For the so for the whole year, I've always heard about that point system shows you how much money you spent on the game, and I'm always and I and I was always against it, right? I'm always like, oh no, like I'm not gonna look at that because then that's gonna demotivate me to play the game or whatever. Um. Oh, it's not that figure. It's the other page, bruh. Okay, okay, it's the other page. Okay, what page is it? What page is it? What page is it? Let's look real quick, chat. So it's going to log me out here for a second, but that's fine. Uh, it's going to log me out here for a second. We'll bring up this in the background for now. So what? which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, add, add in... After the video, no, 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 I just fix it right now. Let's see where it says what rank you are. Okay, where it says what rank you are, just go to settings. And it's so weird how you can only get to this through through mobile. Okay, you go to account and then you click member center. Is there a way to get to it on PC, guys? Is there a way to get to it on PC? Oh, what rank you are. Oh, well, shit, it's pretty damn close. Okay, so our total spent is twenty six thousand eight hundred and seventy nine dollars. So pretty close. Pretty close. We can round it out. We can round it up to twenty seven k for the thumbnail. You know what I mean? It's pretty much twenty seven k. Um. So let's get back here. So yeah, so we spent around twenty seven k, right? And I know some people, like I said earlier, are probably like, "How is he twenty seven k?" Um, you know, he's only 91 million, uh, historical power, if you see on my more info, but I mean, we have, we worked on our, our heroes a lot, you know, we have Bertrand, so we have a total of, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight heroes, nine heroes awakened. Right? So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine heroes awakened. We have a max infernal flame, a max orb, a max rattle spear, a uh, a level three gold crest. So we have a lot of a lot of investment there. Um, do I regret spending that much money? Right? Our my guy Rewo here, he he brought up a good point, which was like it's a lot of money, but a lot of people spend a lot of crazy money and a lot of their stuff, right? So for a lot of us, some of us play Call of Dragons very casually, which you know you casually. You know, you might you might open up your app once or twice a day. For people like me, like we are diehards, and a lot of you guys are too. That you know that support the channel, and I appreciate you guys for that. A lot of us are freaking diehards, bro. Like this is this is our hobby. Don't get me wrong, guys. I lift weights and whatnot. Um, that that would be like my hobby outside of video games. That I would say. Um, but besides that, like Call of Dragons is like the main thing. You know, like, that's where I spend a lot of my money. Like, some people spend their money on cars, clothes, jewelry, collection of shoes, uh, whatever whatever they're into. You know, some people are into some crazy stuff that we can't really mention here on stream and, and recording. But, you know, that's where my a lot of my money has gone. I'm not rich by any means. Um, that amount of money definitely put a nice little hole in my pocket. But... You know, I, I have my necessities taken care of, and, you know, life is good. But um, do I regret it? Yes and no. That's why I say yes and no. It'd be cool. Hi, baby Kath. It'd be cool to have um, to have that $26,000 in my bank account right now. That'd be great, you know. I definitely have tailored my spending a little bit. I haven't, I haven't been spending nowhere near as much as I did, like, when I first started the game. I do plan on slowing my spending down substantially more um especially once i win a great not win a great sites event but at least land top 10 i'm gonna hoard up to anywhere from 30 to 50 million power and then i'm gonna push that get the get the permanent skin and call it a day man because to get the skin is crazy either you're a kraken or you save for a very long time right and to save for a very long time especially when there's war um that can take a while Okay, so we're going to go over the biggest mistake account. The biggest mistake I've made on my account, guys. Biggest mistake I've made on my account. Um, and make sure in the comments below, if you guys can share uh, in the comments below, like what was your biggest mistake? I would like to see what, what you guys have done or what you think is a big mistake. Maybe it's not a mistake at all. So for me, Crazy Doctor, what's good, bro? Uh, sad to say, but you're not allowed in pay to win anymore. What, baby cat? What the hell? There's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. <laughs> we'll talk about it more though, baby Kath. It says your gold rank 37. Yeah. So you voice it. Yeah. Yep. So you. Spike, what's your power at? Oh, I thought you meant what I spent. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So my biggest regret of my account, guys, is Awakening, Theodore, and Bakshi right have i had fun with this with this pairing yes i have have i had fun with my bakshi absolutely he has 94 million kills right my theodore he has 35 million kills excuse me have i had fun with this with these with this hero pairing one second let me drink some water Yes, I have had a lot of fun with them, especially especially in Roots of War. I'll be a garrison captain. However, guys, they're only four star. So it's like in terms of choosing your garrison captains for Roots of War, like you need to make sure that they're six star, right? And awakened and at the minimum at least have the at least have a a max artifact, right? In a perfect world, they would have a max spring blade, have the 7.5 damage and damage deal and damage reduced, right? So, I just haven't really used them too much in the field. And as as a lot of you guys know, um, calves are just kind of relevant in determining the outcomes of wars. You know what I mean? At least they have been. If if you guys have figured out a way to make them a little bit more relevant, like actually make it making a difference, I mean, let me know. But 
the reason I'm not saying they're completely horrible, but the better investment would have been Sindri on Fragar. Now, some of you guys might ask, how is it possible that you didn't pick up on Sindri on Fragar being meta? It's not necessarily that I didn't pick up on them being meta because I did. It's just I, one of my goals for my account is to, and especially for my spend level, is to awaken, have five marches, my five march that I send out, and all of them be awakened and good and good, uh, good marches. You know, so I am a main mage, so I do go heavy on mages, right? But when I'm waiting for the new mages to come out, I always start little side projects, right? I always start little side projects and casually build those up. When I say casually, I mean I don't spend as much. Um. Oh, damn, you're about to start rock in your KVK next week. Damn. 3,450 3, euros for our guy Spike. Did you see COD's latest video? Oh, yeah, for sure. We'll discuss some of those. We'll discuss some of those. Um, yeah, so Sindri on Fragar would have just definitely been the move, especially because this season I, I decided to run long-range warfare. And in the beginning, I used a bunch of my freaking, uh, a bunch of my elixir, a bunch of my elixir on my archers to run double mage, double archer, which was crazy combination. Even though my Sindri on and my Fragar my Fregar is 5511, my Sindri is 5123. I would still get like 30k plus reports, the highest of 40k one time, which was nuts. So if they're awakened, I can only imagine. Um, so going into the future of my account, do I plan on continuing being main mage? Um, do I plan on do I plan on going into into archers a bit? Do I plan on going tanks a bit? You know, that is literally a dilemma, guys, that I think about all the time. Right, I love being a mage player. Um, I now that they have now that they introduced long range warfare, it makes a a massive difference. It makes a massive difference into like you know what are what are, like how I look at my account because I'm a main mage player, right? I'm a main mage player, right? But my main focus is being good in big open field fights like this now. Archers at first, unless you were a Kraken, were just getting absolutely melted. And and if you're a Kraken, it was fine, because like you're gonna get melted anyway. So might as well have the units that have the most counter attack damage and that that deal the most damage when you're out there, right? But now, with the season talent of long range warfare, guys, that changed a lot, dudes, a lot. You know, um, so. Okay, let's see. You're 58 mil at the moment, but missing around 1.5 mil troops. Got deleted? How? How? What the hell? That's crazy. So as of right now, as it stands, I'm still sticking to my goal that I set. So I played Rise of Kingdoms, right? So I went into this game already having like an idea of like what good account optimization looks like. So... My end goal game, guys, believe it or not, is to have five flying flying mage marches uh, just raining hell down on people, bro. In the open field, not caring about barricades, not caring about these choke points that, that, you know, that the map developers love making. You know, not caring about any of that, just flying over barricades, flying over rivers, mountains, it doesn't matter. We're not limited by terrain. We just we can move around. We can stay out of choke points like this in big battles, right? We can stay out of choke points like this in big battles, um, and it just works out well. You know what I mean? Uh, you're in BXS Discord, but never talked. Oh, you're there for the emotes? Oh, damn! But you have a lot of BXS friends, many ex BDO players in BXS. Dude, B there's a lot of ex BDO players everywhere. A lot of ex BDO players everywhere. You know what's cool though? Like BDO is such a big alliance that like people consider themselves like former BDO players. Like I have met a lot of players that are, oh I'm a former BDO player. You know like there's like a sense of pride that you were part of that team at one point. You know what I'm saying? So um, I do find that pretty cool that they kind of have that that level of like pride. You know, which you know one day hopefully you know. We can uh, get to that one day, you know? Um, but yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. BXS is going to get new players next season from all over again. Sheesh. Um, let's drop this orb on someone real quick. Let's 
drop this orb on someone real quick, but we don't want to. We don't want to get too overzealous. We don't want to get too overzealous. This guy's gonna. Nope. Everyone's kiting pretty well here. This guy looks like he. Nope. 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 People are getting better at kiting now, guys. Before there be there was a lot of very like one dimensional fighting, like people just full sending and just dying, you know. But now people are getting a little bit smarter. No lie. That guy gets it. Yep, he got it. He got it, all right. Um, okay, so going into account optimization, guys. Uh, oh, no. So prior to that, we have the next topic. Here. Overall, am I happy with the game? And I've been kind of wanting to make a video about this for a while because like, you'll see a lot of videos of like, oh, Call of Dragons and compared to Rise of Kingdoms, Call of Dragons compared to this game. You know, like the numbers are declining. This is declining this that this that like dude who cares dude the main thing that we need to focus as a community guys is just are you happy are you happy with what's going on if you're not happy with something are the devs doing something about it to make it a better experience yes okay cool are they bringing new content out that can help the key that help the game stay refreshing and and just be better like that's what we need to focus on as a community guys especially with those of us that actually love the game and don't plan on stopping playing the game anytime soon. We need to just focus on just enjoying the game and building a good community, you know, because that's essentially what keeps games going is just community, right? Because I think I forgot I forgot who said I think it was Meow. Or, I forget one of the content creators said this. It was like the gameplay brought us here, but the community is what keeps us right. And, and I couldn't have said it any better myself. And that's 100 percent true with these games. And that's why, you know, I watched the recent video of, you know, the future talks for the game and how they're going to bring home kingdoms, you know, so like people are going to be able to be play with their friends. Like some people have been waiting a whole year to play together, you know, and now that they're actually talking about bringing that on, I think they said the late third quarter, which is probably what, like September-ish, it's still kind of ways away, I think, unless it's, unless it's just sneak it up on us, <laughs> that'd be, that'd be interesting, right? Um... But I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going to be that that soon, at least from what we saw. You know, they're improving the pet system. They're hearing people complaining about the pet system. Like, that's what we need to focus on, guys. So overall, am I happy with the game? Yes, I am very happy with the game. I play a lot. I spend a lot. Um, it's now becoming a little side hustle for me as far as, like, content creation the developers have been amazing to work with like they've been very supportive and it's been it's been a freaking journey man it's awesome it's awesome um they have a lot of good staff over there um and then i guess that pretty much summarizes my account guys that pretty much summarizes my account we're at 22 minutes not bad um that summarizes my account and like overall like my 2023 partial 2024 like summary of a you know twenty seven thousand dollar account i mean i've gotten a lot of kills guys i don't know where i stand in the rankings for overall units killed but i'm definitely in the top 100 i would say i'm def i'm not in the top 25 but definitely in the top top 100 i would say maybe even top 75 top 50 for un total units killed um and you know we're trying to work on that we don't do any crazy farming of like farming accounts and stuff like that but you know we do our thing we do our thing we can proudly say most of like ma majority of our units killed are from actual wars are some of them a, a, a decent amount came from season one uh farm killing but whatever that hey, that, that counts as the feel right uh, i think like i got like a hundred million farm kills in season one it was nuts dude uh yeah roughly it, it was crazy anyways um you're gonna fo focus on content and cod for money and rewards it makes you happy than playing free to play in cod sheesh i mean that's the thing though right you can ultimately put that back into your account if you decide to do that right you know baby cat have you have you been working on that on that on the little like portrait thing you're making it still or no i'm curious to see um if you've been working on that or not um so going into the next year right and and i have said it i I'll, I'll put the link at the end of this video of my my five uh the five top mistakes that i think people make but i'll quickly touch on them right now it's like account optimization guys 
in terms of like making sure that you're you're investing properly right there's a lot of people that you know kind of get hyped around like metas and stuff like oh like the meta is calves now i'm a I'm now now i'm investing calves now i'm investing archers now tanks now flyers and before they notice it they have a bunch of mediocre marches running around getting freaking bombed you know what i mean so it's like what are you doing <laughs> you know what i mean so make sure that you decide early on uh if you're gonna be a main mage or main archer or both and it really depends on your spend level i think if you're around my spend level which you know believe it or not i'm i'm in some places i'm not considered a whale in other places i am considered a whale but for my spend level i think i can main two things which my focus is going to be mages and archers like right now sure i'm going for my tanks and that's because i just want to have one good solid tank march but after that it's going to be all all in on the archer and mages that's what i'm going to be going for um maybe next week because you have a design yet oh yeah no worries baby cat appreciate you um so yeah just make sure you're investing that and you know establish your budget that way that way you can you know make sure that you are buying the artifacts that you need for example if you're in main mage mage archer you shouldn't be like i said this is just my opinion you shouldn't be spending freaking five six hundred bucks trying to awaken a, a gray or trying to awaken trying to like max out a gray mars hammer spring lord or the spring blades you know uh and all these other artifacts that are just not it you know like if you're mage focus on your inferno and your orb and then if you're gonna go extra get the get the freaking breath of gigantis right if you're archer get your spear get your gold crest and if you want to go a little bit extra for utility then get the viola's bow you know what i mean like just stuff like that guys um that's what i would say so that's gonna be it for today's video guys i just wanted to share with you guys my my recap of my one year um so i wish everyone i hope everyone enjoyed the game as much as i have it's been freaking it's been great man i've made a lot of friends uh we've had a lot of battles like i've dealt with a lot of personalities from all over the world being in the discord with a with a guy from the U with the uk accent australian accent um you know you know my accent like being from california and being hispanic like full of like full american accent that some people would say like an american accent like all in one discord is crazy and the fact that people from all corners of the world can come in you know and you know i got we got people from indonesia germany everywhere guys in one discord and you hear all these accents it's it's actually really cool to come together like this through a game that we all enjoy um quick story before i leave i remember being in a discord in public having uh, and it was, it was in speaker the whole discord chat and like people will kind of like look over like what the fuck like they'll hear me talking to to all these different people from around the world with different accents and stuff and it's and it was, it was very interesting it was very interesting to say the least um damn they're pushing us pretty hard right now but that's going to be it for the, today's video, guys. And I hope that you guys liked the recap. Let me know in the comment section below what was your guys' biggest mistakes that you've made um, through the past year of playing this game. What are your plans going on to next season? And um, if some of you guys want to share, feel free to share how much you've spent. You know, not mandatory, but I'm curious. I'm curious. You know what I mean? So with that being said, guys, it's your boy Guns here. See you later. I'm out.